Yeah. Basically all yeah. throughout the round. <laughs> so uh, take us through that race. Gosh, to be honest, I don't remember anything after 100 meters. It's just a blur. Um, it just went by so fast, and I'm just, I just couldn't be happier with the results. So. Yeah. This season, I guess, like, what, what has been clicking in practice that has ultimately, like, led to this, this breakout at the U.S. Championships? Oh, gosh. Um, so much. I think a lot of it's just kind of, like, natural progression, being in the group for, like, this is my third year now. Um, and then, like, we changed some things. I felt like the strength wasn't there last year, the consistency wasn't there. So coming into this year, my goals were to just honestly be consistent, um, consistently under two, and um, really work on that strength training, and it just it paid off way more than I thought it would. Um, so yeah, this is, this is a dream, dream year so far. A little bit slower on the up than you thought, or do you think it's not in? Yeah, um, I thought it would go out a little bit faster, to be honest. Um, but I it just, the pace that we went out, I just knew I had a lot of work to do really late in the race. Um, so just kind of had to be really patient and really intentional with that last 150. When you yeah. called on your speed in those last 20 meters and it was there, what did that feel like? Yeah, um, uh, just, it's just the grace of God, honestly. I like, I don't know, I just, even before the race, I just kept telling myself that like, it'll be there, it'll be there, like, no matter what happens, and just go for it, and like, be the best first I can be, the best second, the best third, like, whatever happens. Um, yeah, so I just, I just can't believe it. <laughs> Any more specific about the changes you made this season? Um, yeah, we just kind of, I t tried to run some 15s. Can't say they were memorable. Um, can't say I want to do it again, but I feel like it helped from a strength standpoint. And um, yeah, I just, I feel like the speed work has just really clicked um, after that. I, I think that strength piece is really missing. Um, and also just like mental stuff too, just like positive talk before the race, just, you know, just being really positive and, um, and yeah, and just focused too. I feel like that's just kind of changed too. Just a lot of personal growth as well. What did you tell yourself before the race? Um, I just like told myself that I, I just I got this, like that I could do it, that I could win, and that there were other people that could do it too. So I just had to be better. Um, yeah, so I'm just really excited about the results. Did you up your mileage at all in training? For no, no. Uh, my mileage has been the same since, honestly, since college and even like the last bit of high school. I haven't really changed much. Um, just like little things have just gotten slowly better over time and it's just yeah i turned 25 this week too and i just i can't believe that this is happening so late in my career but i'm just great for it we're in the middle i'm acting like i'm old because i have like gray hairs already but like, it's fine <laughs> Yeah. That mile, and that mileage is what, like, what consistently? Around? Um, I'm like 40, 40 miles a week. Nothing crazy. Yeah. yeah. I, mean, I guess like for the last couple of years, everyone's kind of viewed the 800 on the U.S. scene as you know, a thing. Ajay, Raven, like they've had a stronghold on it. At the beginning of the year, like when you sit down to you know plan out just the plan with like you know Coach Mackey, and how do you kind of mentally put yourself in that in that conversation and picture? Yeah. Um, I think for me it was really important to stop telling myself that those top three were really solid because it just it's just really detrimental to you when you're trying to make a team and when you're trying to do big things. Um, so I just started writing down that I was going to be top three at USA's and I just felt like over time the more I wrote it down the more I believed it and um, yeah just a lot of things just worked out in my favor too. Um, but yeah, I'm be more grateful. And when you approached this race today, were you thinking top three or were you thinking win? I was thinking win, to be honest. I've been thinking win for a while. Um, and when I got here, I just, I really, really believed it on the line. And yeah, I was really grateful for that. So since when? <laughs> when did you start thinking win? Um, I'd say like after indoor hubs or indoor hubs. <laughs> Let me cut that out. <laughs> you gotta the hubs shout out in there. Yeah. Indoor Hubs is, is the greatest meet of all time, it's fine. <laughs> um, after Indoor Nationals, I like wrote down for the first time, like, I want to win Outdoor Nationals, and at the time it just seems like so crazy. Um, but I think like over the course of the season, some things started clicking together, and I was like, I can do this, I can do this. Um, so yeah, here we are. <laughs> when do you sit down and really think of the goal for Budapest? At what point? I guess now, I, I feel like the dream for here didn't really start until after indoors. Um, I've been trying to not think too far into the future because I wanted to be present here and uh, um, really give it my all here and not get distracted by things I can't control down the line. So um, we're going to take a nice mental break and then get right back into it and train and try to get to the final move best. So, yeah, um, I'm going to get ice cream. <laughs> 
really basic, but <laughs> you know, there's a great ice cream shop around here. So. Prince Buckless, it's great. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Well on. <laughs>